This is a HeadGum Podcast. Christmas bells cast a spell on the world Bringing you home to me From across the sea And it seems like you're already here Whenever I hear Christmas bells chime in my ear. Hello and welcome to Perfect Person, the show where I'm perfect a and you're falls, a person. When a There's no way you have the rights to this. I do. On wow. Today is an extra special episode. Uh, where we uh, pay homage to the holidays by helping people out with their holiday questions. Yep, that jingle you hear is a very special elf in the studio. Uh, to the audio listeners, not much is different. <laughs> but I want you to know that we are in full Christmas garb. Hi, Santa. Hey, little elf. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, that voice, that that mysterious voice. Think it'll voice. last an hour? No, I don't think it'll last 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I'm joined in the studio by my special little elf, Eric Striffler. Hello. Eric, welcome to the show. I am your special little elf, I think, in life. I think in a lot of ways, as a dynamic duo, you sure. are my little elf. Sure. Yeah. I think so. And I think we finally have sort of, it's like Mr. Glass, now that I know who I am, <laughs> now that we know who you are, I finally know who I am. I'm an elf. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody watch M. Night Shyamalan's trilogy? He's got it. <laughs> um, well, Eric, uh, to the audio listeners, nothing is different, but to us, yeah. we're obviously in full... The North Pole. I, we're in the North Pole. Yep. I'm dressed as Santa. Eric is dressed as an elf. We have a Christmas tree here. Eric was generous enough to bring all these things, and he's going to return yes. them as soon as the episode <laughs> is over. <laughs> It, which some might consider fraud, but I consider it taking back the power from the bourgeoisie. I consider it frugal. I consider it quite I frugal. Did, I did get it all from a mom and pop shop. No. And they were so excited to make a sale. No. <laughs> so horrible. They got it. Eric got it from a they mom so and pop ex- they Christmas were like, shop. They were like, it's actually been really tough recently. Yeah. So I really, really appreciate this big purchase. And I was like, yeah. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week when I return all this <laughs> shit. You fucking scumbags with your, no. with your loose return policy. I bought it at an automatic checkout at like... Some corporate Big box conglomerate store. Yeah. Who gives a shit, I don't right? Care. Um, well, Eric, what does Christmas mean to you? Obviously, we're drinking a Uinta Christmas cheer Munich style lager with juniper berries. Ugh. Yeah. Shout out Juniper on Showtime. That's right. Shout out our friend's movie Juniper on Showtime. We say it like it's a new plug. <laughs> no, our friend, like Catherine, year. <laughs> our friend Catherine Dude has made a movie. Damn right. She's been on the show, hasn't she? She yeah. has been on the show. She, she came on the show a while ago, but if you haven't watched her movie, go fucking check it out because it's really Is great. Is it on Showtime still? I think so. I don't know. Look it up. Look Juniper. it up. Hopefully. Juniper film. I Juniper, might be wrong. Junipermovie.com. And if not, fuck Showtime. <laughs> but if it is, Showtime's yeah. awesome. Showtime's awesome. Yeah. We love yeah. that for her. Um, I love Christmas. Yeah, you know, Christmas I love Christmas too, Eric. And I always have. I remember as a little kid. Before it was cool. <laughs> before it was cool. And it, you know what? And the war on Christmas <laughs> has been won. <laughs> has been won. Okay. And now, you know what? I'll say it. I'll finally say it. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Holidays. Gotcha. I don't know anyone that was ever afraid to say Merry Christmas. There's something it's really not funny real. about somebody <laughs> being afraid to say Merry Christmas. We on the real show? <laughs> We're on the real show, Eric, and I couldn't be more happy to be here. No, Christmas is second to Halloween for me. I love Halloween, obviously, the most, but Christmas is, Christmas is also great. Now, I wanted to get into the duality it. We, of we man. started talking about Christmas and Santa and his whole business that yeah. he's running. He's running yeah. over there. Yeah. This fucking sweatshop that Santa's over there fucking paying the elves shit to pump out. Yeah. I am working on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's pumping out fucking what? Can- candies and uh, snacks and stuff uh, like that. And then he's coming in. Did your parents ever do the thing where they ate the crumbs? We did everything, yes. Uh, yeah. we, I woke up to find there were crumbs. There was a tuft of like white whatever in the fucking attic door. No way. They, went, they were showmen. Wait, that's awesome. They went all out. Um, we, we also, there were like, you know, we would throw the carrots out uh, for the reindeer on the lawn and like they'd be eaten, they'd be chomped, but like left a little bit behind, you know, like a reindeer would do and not a dad pretending to be a reindeer kind of. So your dad was taking carrots off the dirty <laughs> ground and taking a big bite out of I, oh. <laughs> Your dad's outside not. picking up carrots off the ground. It rained. It's all muddy. A, taking a bite out of them and throwing them back down. 
<laughs> Your dad um, was a horse. Yeah, milk, the milk and cookies, of course. Speaking of horse. And then uh, I will say when I caught wind that who, what's the age demographic of the, can we say the Santa? Is Santa real to your listeners or no? Let's not. Julian doesn't let's not watch be this, right? Your son doesn't watch Let's not this. be explicit about if Santa's real. When I caught wind that Santa's helpers come around. <laughs> Definitely a horse, not a reindeer. Reindeer. Santa's right? a sure. reindeer sound effect. Right. Let's just play. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> the, um, when I caught wind of like what was going on. Yeah. I, without telling my parents, I joined in for my sister's sake. Oh, yeah, I started that's doing little things yeah. like, like playing Santa for her. My parents must have been like, you were kind of just saying like, if you. Oh, yeah. I said this before. Yeah, if, yeah. If I saw an unmarked Christmas package, morning, you wake Christmas up. Christmas morning, I wake up and it says from Santa and me and Sarah go, we didn't fucking wrap that. <laughs> that's a horror movie. That's a horror. That is a horror movie. But so that's my thought though, is like my parents, the first time I did something, they must have been like, what the fuck? Like my sister was like, mom, dad, look what Santa brought me. And they're like, did you do that? They're like, is there a stranger in the woods is fucking it, I, stalking I guess it's our, our daughter? Weird little fucking son. Well, I guess they knew who you were, so it was yeah. probably not that unlikely. Nah, they probably knew immediately. Yeah, yeah, they were like yeah. our weirdo son. Yeah. yeah, it's Christmas. What was the best gift you ever got when you were a little boy? Because I got a rabbit once, and I was over a live rabbit. Yeah, Mister Tooks. He was a Flemish giant. He was the biggest breed of rabbit <laughs> they right. had. All right, jeez. And man. my parents gave it to him. Me. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you to give me a rabbit. I remember coming down on Christmas morning and there was a rabbit and I thought that's awesome. I don't know. I I've always, I've gotten I had a very, I had a wonderful childhood. I got you know nice gifts from Santa, you know whoever. Um I yeah, I had a great childhood like that. Nothing stands out specifically. You know what stands out actually? I remember it stands out more now as an adult, I guess. I asked Santa for I've definitely told this before. I've told you this probably. Spice Girls Barbie dolls. Oh, yeah. I got, a flip I got and, them. I got a flip and dive Barbie from Santa. But like societally speaking. Yeah, that's not common. But I'm saying like it's more impressive that Santa got right. them for me. Like, Santa, I mean, yeah. not, you know, I'm not saying like it's not that surprising. I know my parents and they know me, whatever. But like, you know what I mean? Like societally yeah. speaking, it's like our son asked and in the 90s. Yeah, in the 90s. Our son so asked not, for Barbie dolls. Not as common. Yeah, yeah. right, right, right. right so sure. it's almost like that stands out to me as like impressive. Like as an adult, I'm like, well, all right. Nice. All right. All right. Good for you. Santa's down with the cause. <laughs> yeah. Santa's an ally. Santa is an ally. And he's getting me a flip and dive Barbie that I can <laughs> accidentally flip into the tub without water in it and it shattered. Was it made of glass? No, I just did it too many times. I think I did it from too high. I was like, how high can I flip Barbie? And then she. That's the problem is we get the dolls and then we destroy them. No, I fucking <laughs> destroyed her. I was, they, they're joining the rank. They're joining the front lines with GI Joe. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> also, me and my friends. This is kind of fucked up, but me and my friends. You know Sid from Toy Story. You know you're recording, right? No, wait, what? <laughs> These. Yeah, uh, I know Sid from Toy Story. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> me and my friend Jordan. Huge shout out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, we would do that when we were in like middle school. I know this is fucked up because in this. What did you do, Miles? We would cut. Like we would like hot glue. We would make like abomination action figures. We would like take like a doll. Great name for a company. That is a good idea. We would take like a doll and we'd use the arms of one and we use like a T-Rex and then put like oh, that's sick. the heads of the other and we'd hot glue them all together into these like monsters. Oh, I love that. And we'd make stop motion animation films with them. Was it because of Toy Story? No, I don't think it was because of Toy Story. Uh -huh. It was because we were twisted little freaks. From the twisted mind of Jordan Peele. That's right. It was just <clears throat> like Jordan Peele's Get Out. Or Matthew Vaughn. Well, ho, 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 everyone. It looks like... Is this the start of the show? Yeah. No, we're starting now. It looks like the that's Santa's magical bells. Uh -oh. Because we have got some callers who are calling in. Oh, 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 oh. So it's only Dracula. We want to, I want to have a Christmas. <laughs> We are. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. Me too. I feel like we're not recording. I feel like this is not real. <laughs> I am boiling, by the way. And you know what I'll say? First of all, Eric, before we even get into the show, can you get my computer charger <laughs> from under the desk sure over there? Sure thing, Santa. Thanks, my little elf. It's under the desk. It's just dangling. You'll see. And um, people have been calling in from all around the world. And if you like the show, please consider rating and subscribing so you don't miss an episode. And also, if you love the show and you can't get enough of it, well, guess what? There's more of it. That's this charger. There's more of it. There's way more of the show in Plug It In. And there's way <laughs> more. <laughs> I got it. Can you? 
Yeah, I'll plug it in. And if you love this show can, and, can, and can't get enough of it, well, guess what? There's some more, more, more if Yes. Can, there's more. We so talked about can, God briefly. You can stuff yourself full um, by joining the Patreon and getting an ad-free extended version of every single episode, including this episode that's ad-free and extended. Right now, it's available. In the me. preamble for this one, we, we figured out what religion Santa is. We did figure out what religion Santa is, and we talked all about our childhood experience with it's, Santa. By the way, not the one you think. And it's not the one you think. <laughs> and there's also <laughs> there's bonus, the title. There's also <laughs> bonus episodes on Patreon where I do special themed call-in episodes, and I call back people from the show to get their updates and change their lives and see how my advice turned out. But until then, join the Patreon, subscribe to this stuff, and I love you for listening. <laughs> now, Santa believes in God. <clears throat> it's not the one you think. <laughs> Good billboard. <laughs> yes. Really good billboard. <laughs> okay. We have got a couple calls here, and I think we should start with a really good one. I'm so excited. Hey, Miles. Um, I really need your help to figure out what get Christmas gift to get my brother's cheating wife. Um, that would be fantastic. You could help me out and give me a call back. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Someone's been on the naughty list. Holy shit. <laughs> what do you get your brother's cheating wife for Christmas? Well, honestly, I think Cole is hilarious. That is super funny. But like, if she's trying, we're going to find out from her, obviously. If she's trying to like slyly let her know she knows or something, absolutely Cole. Oh, it's got to be Cole. Absolutely Cole. And the wife will never say anything. They will never say she got Cole, and they'll, but they'll just know. No, absolutely. That is so funny. Is my belt high? Your belt's in the perfect place, Eric. Okay. <laughs> just checking. Is my and, and is my belt high? And am I okay? Uh, I think Cole is the perfect idea. Okay. And I ain't talking Sprouse. There's no fucking way. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you called perfect person, and I'm Santa, and I'm here to give you some advice on what to get for your brother's cheating wife. There's no fucking way. This is hilarious. I am here with my little elf, Eric. She, she, just, oh. she just fell down a hole. <laughs> Did you just fall down a well? I heard you exclaim. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm um, elf Eric. We're going to need to give you a fake name, and it's got to be Dasher. No, it's gold. No, it's gold. Gold. Go with it. Gold. Okay, gold. Well, guess what, gold? Oh. Looks like that's the Christmas bell. We're going to need to hear all about your situation so that we can properly <laughs> direct your presence. Okay, this is, wow, this is wild. Okay, so over the summer, my sister-in-law used, first of all, used me in the lie to cheat on my brother, but ended up having an affair for like a week, <gasps> like left home, the whole situation. <laughs> and then... She apparently now, this was like at the end of July. Yeah. And now they like, she moved back in in August. They're in counseling. They're like trying to work it out or whatever. The yeah. So the reason that I'm still no contact, haven't talked to her since July. Yeah. And we were pretty good friends. Sure. Um, is because she used me in the cover story of right. going out <clears throat> the, for the first time with a guy that she fucked. Totally. So I have been waiting and no contact from her no reach out like hey sorry i like abused your trust you know uh, yeah um yeah. nothing like that came yet so now it's holiday time and i haven't heard from them since july i've talked to my brother her out with him he was like in a really shitty place like when this all first happened so i was trying to so get him knows. like yeah they're in counseling okay anymore. yeah so they're in counseling now yeah but um so now we were going to see each other at Thanksgiving. They ended up having a COVID scare, so we haven't seen them. And now I'm just like, I want to get gifts for my siblings. Yeah. But like, do I have, I have to get her a gift too, right? Like, so I don't know Ooh. what to do. Okay. I, don't, I don't think you have to worry about it because I think they're going to conveniently get COVID again. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think it was, I think it was a lie. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought too. Yes, <laughs> by the way. Said that, I was like, that's a convenient excuse. But no, they actually did get it. <laughs> yeah, completely. Because also she's probably like, okay, uh, uh, by the way, all of your family has to hate me. Like, you know, like they're well, trying, they're trying to work yeah. it out. So like he has an obligation to be like, okay, like let's work this out. I have to reestablish trust, et cetera. Work on the things that maybe like led this relationship yeah. to make be in a place where you're doing this. You don't have to do any of that. You're a sister. You can hold whatever exactly. grudge you kind of want right, to, right. right? Like 
You're not oh in the relationship. You didn't, you. you didn't choose to be a part of the relationship. Your brother, like, yeah, he's got to have an empathy for whatever situation you're going through. You are you can do whatever you want. But yeah. I, I got a really important question that Miles is glossing the fuck over. Okay. <laughs> What was the story that involved you? Oh, great question. Did she oh. say she was hooking up with you? <laughs> I'm hooking up with your no. sister. <laughs> and he's like, what? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. No, 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 no. So we both have summers off. Okay. And we were like pretty good friends. We waitressed together when I was in grad school. Like we are very similar people. So we like hung out a lot. And over the summer, we were like, <laughs> so over the summer, <laughs> it's fine. Um, we were like, we're going to be each other's people and like go to the pool together, go to concerts together. Mm. Like I would just call her up and be like, Hey, I have tickets to the show. Do you want to go? And she'd be like, dope, let's go. Yeah. So that was the story leading up to it. The day of we go, we are, we have me and her have tickets to go to a concert. I don't really know who the fuck they are. Oh but the tickets were $15. shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tickets were $15. It's at this like small venue with a bar. I was like, I'll go and have fun. Who knows? Whatever. So we end up getting dinner together with my brother. And then we drive to, me and her drive to the concert together. So we get to the concert. She goes, or drop me off. Drop me off here. Drop me off here. Literally, literally. At my, my lover's house. <laughs> so, <laughs> so literally we get to the parking lot. She drove us there. She, we get out and park and she's like, Hey, by the way, we're going to meet up with one of my friends. He has a ticket and didn't have anyone to go with. And I was like, cool, no big deal. I have no thoughts about this. And we're just like all chilling. Like he's asking me questions. Like we're having a good time. I'm like, this is a friend. He's he's asking you questions like, hey, you want to hook up? Or (laughs) he's asking everybody everybody questions. She was caught caught in a circumstance. He's a charming guy. Yeah. (laughs) She's asking, you know, he's asking you questions like, hey, is your, how, how sort of like aware of things is your brother? (laughs) <laughs> Is your brother um, on the not things? very if we're yeah. being honest <laughs> so at the end of the night um it's probably like 11 11 30 i had worked my brunch server shift in the morning so right. i was really tired and i was like i just fucking want to go home and my sister-in-law had like drank a little bit and she's a lightweight so if she has like two drinks she's out for the count she's down for the count so she was like hey i was like hey i'm gonna uber to my car and like go home because i'm fucking tired mm-hmm. and she was like cool i'm just gonna like wait to sober up uh-huh. Um, and I was like, great. She stayed there with the guy. Yeah. Again, I had no thoughts about this. I was like, this is a normal thing. Like they're friends. I yeah. don't know who they are. They probably just want to hang out. Whatever. No, of course. It's not on you. So, yeah. No, she's actually pretty yeah. slick. I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to stay here she's and pretty sober slick. up. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then I get home, I go to bed, whatever. I'm sleep like the dead. I wake up the next morning. This is like a Sunday morning at like eight. And I had a text from my brother at 4 a.m. <gasps> saying, hey, do you know where my wife is? Oh, my God. And I was like, hmm. And I, I woke up the next morning at like 8. So I texted him back. And I was like, hey, like, I don't know. Like, I left. I left her at the, con- at the venue. Like, is she okay? And he's like, and then he texted me back maybe like 20 minutes later. He's like, oh, she's home now. We have some things to talk about. <laughs> so that was Sunday. And then on Tuesday, I hear... She's moved out of the house or oh. she's like left the house for a little bit. Whoa. Not moved out, but she's like out of the house because she like fucked a guy. And I was like, that sucks. And I, yeah. my first thought is like, Oh, it's the guy from the concert. And wait, then no, wait, I was, what, was like, it not? No, no, wait, it is. Okay. But okay. Here's, here's how, you know, here's how. <laughs> That's what was going through his head while she wrote him. Um, So here's where I find out that I was used in this lie. So a week goes by and I'm telling my friends about it because I'm just like, guess what? Guess what the fuck is happening? And then I'm telling one of my other one of my friends about this. And she looks at me and she's like, do you think your brother knows that you were that the guy that was at the concert was the guy that she fucked? And I was like, if she told him that she cheated on him, she also told him it was the guy, right? Oh. And my friend was like, I mean, you should probably like check. Clarify. Or you should probably ask him. And I'm right. like, oh, okay. So I asked him to dinner at this place near my house that he loves. And we get a pizza. He eats like two bites. And so he's not eating very well. He's not like Ugh, taking yeah. care of himself because he is like he's doing bad. depressed. Is the place, can I ask, is the, the place, the place by you that you love uh, Domino's? 
And I, yeah, right. And and this is no. not and this is not the point. But was it chicken barbecue? Was it? Was yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Was it barbecue pizza? The Parmesan chicken bites. <laughs> was it a Parmesan? Um, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a Domino's net near me. I have like a local like bar, movie theater, pizza venue, oh. which is very good. It was popcorn but you got to see a movie. But popcorn pizza. <laughs> we didn't see a movie because there weren't any good movies out at the time. I don't know. Maybe yeah. there were. He wasn't in the place to see a movie, you know. Yeah, so, no, totally. We. We're just talking. I I look at him and I'm just like, hey, just so you know, the guy that she was with, like, we met him. We met up with him at the concert on Saturday, and he looks at me. He's like, wait, really? And I was like, yeah, like we met up with him on Saturday, and that's where they met. <laughs> Sorry, it just felt like it was a a reveal, a secret reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had to tell my brother about that like she lied to him again yeah and you were caught in the middle of it got it so i totally get your predicament because also like you feel like you don't have any closure from this person and she's out on the town telling lies that you're involved yeah. with you're basically you're yes. it's a crime of passion and you're an innocent bystander yes. exactly you're yes. guilty by association okay so here's what you should get her a big old lump of coal okay. thanks yeah. for calling in we were, th- we were thinking coal <laughs> I actually think I, I think that one you don't have to get her anything. No way. Uh, I think that that's probably like the the path of least resistance is don't get her a single fucking thing. Yeah, she's not gonna get. No offense, she's okay. not getting you anything. No, oh, oh or no, is she getting you the good. best Christmas gift ever? She's gonna get you a Dyson. She's fucking better. Well, my friend was like, she should be paying for your manicures for the next year. Agree. And I'm like, you're exactly right. She's on manicure duty. <laughs> what would you get a gift for someone you didn't like? Like, but you had to get them a gift. Would it be something that was shitty? Uh, I don't know. Let me think. I would do. I think I would get them a like Olive Garden gift card. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> gift gift certificate to Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, well, like for ten dollars. I'm, I'm thinking like it's it's not like you're not gonna have it's food. You're not gonna have a bad time, but it's like you don't do you want to go a t- there? A ten dollar gift certificate to the <laughs> gas station. <laughs> No, that's good for me, actually. <laughs> People do get me gas cards, obviously. Oh, I bet they do. So that's great. But I think that's something like... just like, th- like $10, that's nothing. $10 is hilarious because you can't really get any. You're going to have to spend money. You can't yeah. get anything. It actually forces you it's to like spend money. It's like giving you a $5 Starbucks gift card. You can't get anything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. A well, lifetime, you get probably like a, like a muffin. A lifetime membership to the Cheaters Museum. Say that again, Miles. Uh, Santa, <laughs> Santa, Santa, say that again. Li- sorry. Oh, oh, oh! A lifetime membership to the Cheaters Museum. So you, well, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna get a picture of her. Yeah. Make a fake mug shot, sort of like behind bars. Oh my god! Right? Yeah. Put it, get it printed at Staples, Kinkos, laminated. Kinkos, and it's gonna say, lifetime uh, achievement award, great best cheater ever. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. First of all, I love that, and I have another question. Do, the, do you call the people who work at Kinkos Kinksters? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to Kinkos. If oh, I'm being oh you gotta out. go. You're you're you gotta go to Kinkos. I don't think we have any. I don't. Are they no Domino's, no Kinkos. Like Where do you live in the North Pole? Oh. <laughs> I, no, I have a Domino's around me. It's just like not within walking distance. Wait, hold on. I do have a question for Santa, though. Do you, yeah. have, a, do you have a Domino's and a Kinko's? In the, do we have North uh, North Pole Domino's Kinko's? We do have. It's a combination. A, we have a Kinko's. combination. They'll copy. I was literally going to say, is it a combination? Yeah, they'll copy whatever you need, and they'll give you a garlic parmesan bite. <laughs> but it is going to be filled with candy. But or and. Wow. Well, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we're go. We're flying. Whoa. Oh, man. It's my, it looks like my reindeers are acting up again. <laughs> so we, I think a cheap guy. <laughs> I think it's a one call episode. <laughs> We've only called you so far. Now, Wait, really? yeah, you're the, fir- you're the first call. So I will say, I think no gift is good. Now, a re- if you really wanted to like grind the knife in, which is not a, ba- a bad a idea. You get her a knife. No. It, did, did you guys take any pictures of you all at the concert? <laughs> no, we actually didn't. No. But that would be very funny. That was like a selfie. Oh, that of would you, be funny. Framed. Framed selfie oh, of all you guys God. at the concert. With the guy. With the guy. <laughs> it was just to be like, that hey, was- fucking like, I mean, it's, uh, it's maturity on her part that she hasn't like been like, hey, by the way, because like, look, when you involve other people, especially like, can you fucking imagine, Eric, like. I'm just like, all my friends are best friends with my wife in addition. So if anything like philanderous were to happen, it would just erupt and explode everything to the point where it would have to apologize to everybody. She's literally 
the sibling. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Like you're involving everybody yeah. and hurting everybody by doing this decision. And it's yeah. like, yeah, that's crazy that yeah. she wouldn't have. Been Literally involved. everyone in my family knows my yeah. younger brother and his wife are like, we don't want to talk to her ever. Yeah. Oh, it's so like, uncomfortable. They're man. very passionate about like not talking to her. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, so I would say definitely don't get her a gift. Or I say nothing. I yeah. would say nothing, but I think there's something funny about being like, Here's a card with a fucking ten dollar gift certificate. Eat shit. Oh no! You know what? Uh, literally a five dollar scratch card, and that's it. A lottery scratcher. One five dollar no, scratch card, and that's win it. Money. Oh yeah, like, no, no, no money. yeah, you don't want that. She accidentally wins twenty grand. No, <laughs> disappears with the guy from the concert. <laughs> anyway, well, gold. Uh, as we named you, uh, as Eric forced me to name you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for hopping on the phone with us. I hope our advice has been helpful. I hope you have a Merry, yeah. Merry Christmas and a happy <laughs> and a happy holidays. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget to leave out the milk and cookies. And is there anything else that we can help you for with before we go? Um, I think I'm good. Hang up, hang up, hang up, Santa, hang up. <laughs> thank you so much for calling in. We hope you have the best <laughs> Christmas. She found out on better. record. Uh, bye. Right, here we go. Here we go. She found out Thank that her you. sister was cheating. Sister-in-law is not eating ass anymore because her brother used to let her eat his ass. Uh, but he's no whore. Better close the door. We're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be right back. There are two types of people in this world, those who openly fart in front of their partner and those who lie about a fart and try to cover it up like they're not some kind of awesome person who breaks wind. Luckily, there's a third option for y'all you farters out there. <laughs> It's Symbiotic Plus. Ritual created a clinically studied three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic to help support a balanced gut microbiome. I've been popping Ritual's multivitamin for men 18 plus, and I gotta tell you, it's been treating me and serving me right. It has a minty fresh taste. It has an absolute assuredness that I'm getting the vitamins and nutrients that I absolutely need. And with Symbiotic Plus, Ritual has given you that gut stuff in a good way that's gonna make sure that you're not having the tummy Wummies after having a big weird food. Symbiotic Plus is a daily three in one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? It provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports a healthy gut barrier. Win win, baby! It's a delayed release capsule designed to help survive the harsh condition of the upper GI tract for delivery to the colon. An ideal place for probiotics to grow and thrive. If your gut's causing problems and you want to make sure you're getting all those vitamins and nutrients, then I would highly recommend you turn to Ritual. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game, and that's why Ritual is offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash perfect person to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. Okay, listen up, all you babies out there. You're going to want to tell, <laughs> if you're a baby and you're listening to this, you're going to want to tell your parents that absolutely you're going to need the toys from KiwiCo. Okay, parents, tune back in because KiwiCo is giving you the absolutely best toys on the market, as well as hands-on projects that are going to make you and your baby learn a little fang or two at the wee hours of the morning when they need to be stimulated mentally, physically, <laughs> mentally, physically, and also maybe even emotionally. We've been using KiwiCo since the jump. Since my baby was a little baby, he's been getting KiwiCo crates that help stimulate his development at various stages. The KiwiCo stuff is really well designed. It's very beautiful. And honestly, in the morning, I've been playing with the toys as well. A baby toy is a toy for daddy to also play with in the morning. His favorite toy is one that looks like a little robot head. He's able to spin a little dial. He's able to click a little button. He's able to basically have a tactile fun experience. KiwiCo delivers seriously fun hands-on projects that inspire a lifelong love for learning. KiwiCo projects spark creative confidence for ongoing tinkering and experimentation. Sure, you can buy a robot, but isn't it way more fun to build your own? The projects are designed by a team of educators, makers, engineers, and rocket scientists 
scientists who brainstorm hundreds of ideas to create the most exciting, age-appropriate, and educational projects. Discover hands-on fun with KiwiCo. Get your first month free on any Create line at kiwico.com slash perfect person. That's your first month free at K-I-W-I-C-O dot com slash perfect person. If you have a young baby or even an older baby, some people call that a child, I highly recommend KiwiCo. All their stuff is really cool. Yeah. And we're back. We're going to be taking another call here. Uh-oh. Looks like someone is best friends with a furry. Hey, Hiles and crew. Uh, my best friend is a furry, and I'm not. And for Christmas, he's insisting on buying me expensive gifts that he knows I cannot financially reciprocate. <laughs> so I'm trying to draw his persona as a present, and I'm really not coming up with a lot of like good detail ideas. If you want to call me back with some creative or chaotic things I can throw into this picture, let me know. Bye. That moment when your bestie who's a furry is too rich to reciprocate the presents for Christmas. Everybody's on my very naughty wish list. Drawing a frame picture of his persona and that's how I'm gonna make sure that he gets a bona. Santa, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Nothing, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Damn, Santa, where'd you find this? Hello? Hello? Oh, 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 oh. You called Perfect Person, and I'm Santa, and I'm here to help you figure out what to get your furry best friend. And I'm a little elf. I'm here with Eric Striffler, my little elf. <laughs> I am so honored, Santa. Oh, my God. It's a pleasure to have you on the horn here. And I'm going to be giving you a fake name, Eric. Frank. Frank. I hear. What what about Dasher? Perfection. I was going to do a whole reindeer bit. That's fine. Okay. Frank. We're going to call you Frank instead of Dasher or Dancer or Prancer or Blitzen. It's got to be Frank. Now, Frank, to be Frank, why don't you uh, let me know what's going on in your world? Um, Well, (laughs) my... My dear friend, God bless him. He is a furry, Hell and I am not. He's a deer, you said. <laughs> what and what's fur? What furry type? And by the way, can we call him a reindeer friend? But a reindeer friend. By the he way. is actually a reindeer. No, he's you're actually lying. a reindeer. You're shitting me. <laughs> really? Which one? We might <laughs> no, know I him. No, I swear to Christ. We might know him. Was well, he Dasher, or Dancer, or Prancer, or Blitz, or <laughs> Comet, and Cupid, and Donner, and Vixen? Well, we, did, we did that backwards, but <laughs> um, he is an ingrate who didn't make it to the reindeer game. Okay, Ooh, got that's it. Rudolph. Then it's a rege- yeah, no rejected reindeer. <laughs> well, talk to me a little bit about your friend before we even get to the present, so I understand yeah. the context. <clears throat> your friend is a furry. Now, is your friend in? Because I don't know too much about furries, and I don't want to be ignorant here. You're going to say, and I don't want to know. No, much. excuse me, I do want to know. <laughs> I definitely want to know, but and I don't, don't want to know. I don't want to be ignorant about the plight of the furry community. I'm perfectly comfortable with that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. I'll say it easy. <laughs> Well, now, is your friend in uh, furry garb only in intimate situations, outside of intimate situations? How much is your friend in the garb? He is more of like a closet furry. Gotcha. He does not have the fur suit. Okay, oh, got it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but he's constantly, constantly sending me like furry art that I never ask for. <laughs> And he's just like, look at all of these things that caught my eye on Twitter slash X today. I'm like, okay, friend. Gotcha. Oh. So your friend is sort of dabbling their little hoof into the, d- dipping their hoof into the furry community. Into the company, Inc. Into the company, Inc. <laughs> and you're wondering, and you also used to mention that <laughs> you mentioned they're like exorbitantly rich or something. Wait, <laughs> what, what was that? What was that about? part about it? <laughs> what? You said they're getting you the most um, expensive thing you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, you're like, they're buying me a car <laughs> on my birthday and for Christmas. No, so like, this is what's so fucked up because he knows I'm poor. <laughs> he like, this summer, we went on this really crazy, like two week road trip. And he bought like everything I either did or did not ask for. Like he has spoiled the shit out of me this year yeah. and I have no way to reciprocate. And he knows this and he's already been like sending me like, yeah, uh, what's your like size for this? I want to get you pajamas. I, what's your size for this? Like, and it freaks me out and I tell him not to, but he does it anyway. Gotcha. So you're, and yes, he, he's not like, he's not like, Ooh, I have a portion in my driveway, but he right. will just buy 
whatever he wants because he can. Like, he spends so much money on naked furry girl sticky stickers. It's insane to me. What do you get a furry who has it all? It's <laughs> <laughs> really the, that's really the what question. What do you get <laughs> a furry who <laughs> has everything? everything. <laughs> Hold on. I have two questions. Frank, I've got two questions. Number one, does this guy want to fuck you? No, it doesn't sound like it, right? Kind of does. <laughs> See, it'll keep going. Here, going. Here's what. Okay. He's married and his wife was on this road trip with us. I was terrified that they were buying me all of these things all oh. summer so that they could lead up to like a threesome, oh. but it never happened. Okay. I mean, they're just really <laughs> nice people. Okay. So that's my second question. That's interesting. Do you think he's expecting you to reciprocate? It doesn't sound like Cause it. I gotta be honest. Listen, I live in a van. I make enough money that I don't like ask friends to like hit me back for like <laughs> beer. Like, you know what I mean? Like we've been out before. It's of like, course. I'm not Venmo requesting no, people. No, no, no. Like, You're great about I, that. I live considerably below my means, relatively yes. speaking. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind, like I don't expect anything in return. Like if I no, want to like, treat my friends at dinner yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is obviously a little bit more than what I'm talking about. But like I don't know. I I wouldn't. I wonder if are, are you just naturally, understandably thinking like, oh, I've got to get them back. You know, like which I would think if someone else did it. I get yeah, it. Right. But if it were me, I'd be like, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Like, yes. do, what, what, what is making you think that you need to match this? Yeah, that's a good point. It is absolutely that situation. But I was raised in a way that. If someone, you know, you know, you're receiving something from somebody. Yes. It is rude to not reciprocate in some way, especially sure. if you're close friends. Yeah. That, that makes no, sense. No, I totally get that. Unless they're, <clears throat> not unless they're a furry, but unless, <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless they're a furry, they're a furry. <laughs> your honor, your honor, they're a furry. I don't know. If you're a anything. degenerate, you don't get presents. Yeah, I don't know you <laughs> shit. You're a furry. No, I, um, and I, by the way, I was also kidding. I don't know anything about furries. I, I, I'm sure. I'm, it sounds like it's fun. It sounds like this guy's actually a hoot and a half. But. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. I, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. But in this case, if they're spending that much, I feel like that's different than just like, oh, my friend bought, bought drinks last time. I'll buy them this time. Like, you know that's what? I, my, like if, if, yeah, if someone's spending like. Hey, let's go to let's go to a theme park. I'll buy your ticket, like, yeah. and never ask you for it. No, it's no, like, no, you, know, no. you don't have to have, like match that. That they want to go to the theme park with their friend. They want to try to come from my own. It sounds like these people, logic. yeah, they want to treat you because they like you and they yeah, love you exactly, and they're not expecting it now. However, I totally get the feeling of being like, I want to give back to these people in some way because yeah, they are course. so kind to me. Sure. And now I think that your head is the right place where you're doing a drawing because I I think that often. Often, like, yeah, like if I buy something for somebody, I don't, I, I'm, I'm really not expecting anything back. But if I was to get some sort of handmade thing, I would be so touched because it requires like so much effort. This actually happened to me technically now that I think about it. I brought a friend on like a little mini road trip, whatever, didn't ask for, uh, you know, I, I paid for gas. I was going that way anyway. So that was my logic was like, well, I would be paying for this gas regardless. You don't have to like, you know, like, yeah. uh, you know, split it with me or yeah, anything. Yeah. And um, they in turn drew a beautiful picture Oh, of, wow. of my van that we drove yeah, around in awesome. and gave it to me, and that was worth more than anything. Of course, you know that. So I think I think you are on the right track with with uh, like something from the heart versus a monetary gift. Thank you, thank you. Um, they spent thousands <laughs> of dollars on me this summer alone. Okay, and well, now I'm really worried they're going to be spending hundreds of dollars for Christmas. Okay. So oh, that wow. is why I feel a lot of pressure to reciprocate in a meaningful way. And as a non-furry, but trying to be a supportive ally, yeah. to my understanding, they really love fan art of their personas. I think that's So canon. that's what I'm trying to do here. If I know anything about furries, <laughs> it's that they love fan art. <laughs> And, and, also, and also, by the way, I have to ask, are we using the word ally? <laughs> by the way, no. I want to make it clear. Is that a real thing? I want to say that Perfect Person is an ally. Perfect Person podcast is coming out as an ally to the furry community. And I've always said that. Okay? I want people to celebrate however they would like to their whole lives. That's so funny. Uh, and you're 100% sure they don't want to fuck you, right? <laughs> no, the jury's still out on that. <laughs> Oh, it's, you're like, That's the thing. I, I, look, and it could like, go. It could go either way. It's his wife. <laughs> uh, I just. I'm asking not to be disrespectful, but to, because I genuinely am just. I don't know that much about this. Is his wife also a furry? And uh, did they maybe dip their toe in convincing you? Hey, maybe. I hoof, mean, this hoof. like their hoof. 
Is his wife also furry, and is she a reindeer type too? Reindeer type too. Um, to Fancy. my understanding, she is not a furry, but no. also an ally. She lets him put naked furry girl stickers on whatever they own. That is awesome, honestly. I really... By the way, that's the coolest wife of all time. And I've been begging Sarah. I've been begging my wife, Sarah, to let me put naked naked, things on my baby. Naked furry art on my laptop. Okay. (laughs) So that when I I go to the coffee shop, I flip it open, and there it is for me. Mommy don't know. Daddy's Daddy's getting furry. furry. (laughs) At the furry shop. Doing something quite furry. So I would I would say, honestly, though, you're in this situation. Yep. Yeah, definitely make the art because that's going to be a yes. must. And uh, I would say accept the gifts. Just enjoy yeah. it. Just enjoy it. This is someone that clearly want like, as long as you feel no pressure, they're not doing it in a way that is like manipulative or something. That it doesn't would be sound weird. like it that at all. Be, it that would like, be weird. It doesn't sound it like it. sounds like they have disposable income in there. And the yeah. thing that brings them joy is spending it on, which I understand. I totally get. Is spending it on friends and stuff like that. Like, yeah, And that I rules. think is okay. I have had friends say that it makes like, if I want to go to the movies with a friend, like years ago, I remember a buddy being like, I don't want you to pay for me. And I'm like, that's totally fair. Yeah. Like I don't, it, it, then, you know, whatever. Like I was like, I want to go. If you want to go with me, I'll buy your ticket. Cause he didn't yeah. really. He, he didn't like have the money to go. And I was like, I just want to go with you. Yeah. But he made it clear. He was like, I don't, I just don't want you to pay for me. And I was like that. It makes sense too. That's but I'll fine. say also it probably like the gratitude that you give them when they buy you things is like what's in it for them. Like they, yeah, I that, think so. that is valuable to them in a way that where they're feeling like, Oh, like they want to help you out. And they also like feeling like they can help you out yeah. for various things. And, not even help. We didn't even get necessarily Not even help, just joy. Help. Like yeah, giving right, right, right. you uh, extra things that are going to provide you joy. Right. Providing you joy. Right, right, right. So um, the furry or fan art, I think, is good. And I'll say... Yeah, I love that idea. Putting it in a frame is going to really make the art pop. Yeah. Or and, making, making it a sticker and making it naked. Yeah, making it naked, making it a sticker. <laughs> um, and maybe, I'll, you know, yeah. I think a framed art of his persona is really going to be good. And maybe also a tarot card reading for the furry. Why? I don't know. How did you know that I'm a tarot reader? Shut up. Oh my Santa, God. you do know everything. Oh, oh, I'm always watching, even when you're in your fursona. <laughs> San- By the way, Santa, in a lot of ways, is a furry. Look Why? at my outfit. That's a suit. There's fur all over. There's <laughs> fur, there's fur all it's over. It's a suit. A beard is basically a, a, an animal mask. Okay, Santa, okay. I think I'm a furry. He's surrounded by naked reindeer all the point. time. You think Santa's ever... Don't. Okay. You fucking <laughs> well Wait, listen, listen to this song. This is for you. Bringing you home to me from across the sea. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling in, Frank. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for sharing your story. Hold on. Um, I'm so sorry, but I asked for like um, a couple ideas for like little details to put into the oh, drawing yeah. oh, if you yeah. don't we mind taking an extra minute. We haven't helped you at all. Anyway, no. anyway, fuck off. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for calling. Okay, so well, first of all, if it's the fur- furry, I think that drawing, and I know that you say the wife's not a furry, but do you think you would enjoy drawing what you <sighs> believe his wife's fursona no, to be? No, even better, style? even better, draw his wife in as the, a human. Yeah. <laughs> Draw his wife in Riding it. him. Riding him. Okay, well, that's no, very he's explicit. a reindeer. He's a reindeer. Oh, that's... Oh, that, well, riding him well, is not, not that explicit. Riding, not riding on his hog. Okay, I like riding that. Riding on his back. Oh, my God. Frank, Frank. That's a great idea. Frank, you need to draw his wife riding him through a snowy fucking field. Oh, my God. This is, by the way... I'm learning a lot. Is she nude? I'm learning a lot about the furry community. And by the way, by the way, if you draw her, you you have the opportunity to make it clear what you want from this. If you draw her nude, you're letting them know that your persona is a unicorn. That's a good point. But if you if you draw her clothed, if you draw her clothed, if you draw her clothed, this is my fuel, by the way. This yeah. is like, this <laughs> by the way, you're putting gas in our your, tank. Your laugh is the best right. laugh ever. I fucking love her laugh so much. Um, if if oh, you draw her- so much. If you draw her clothed, then that's saying this is the last time we'll ever speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's a promise. <laughs> this is it. Oh my god! But yeah, I think that uh, yeah, I think draw, riding yeah, his wife riding him through a snowfield, <laughs> and I think also 
Like, what about leading Santa? Leading Santa is a really good option. It's a Christmas picture after all. Yes. Let's put Santa <laughs> right in there. <laughs> They're gonna hang up all year. Rudolph. Rudolph also cro- with his arms crossed, being like jealous. No, yeah, yeah. You put at the bottom. At the bottom, it's like a political cartoon. It's a political cartoon, and at the bottom it says Rudolph with a question mark. Oh, I like that. I like Rudolph. So we can say R- Rudolph isn't an ally. Yeah, by the way, Rudolph is not a furry ally. That's why, by the way, that's why don't let them gaslight you. That's why they didn't let Rudolph join the <laughs> gang because Rudolph would make the gang. And he was like Rudolph and the gang is what they call him. He said some sort of word slur. that they didn't like. Yeah, slur sona. And <laughs> they and they didn't like that. Don't turn your first sona into a slur sona, okay, everyone? We want you to celebrate appropriately out there. And I want and by the way, I do want to be honest here. If you're a furry for the first there, time, I want people to know that Burby Person is a safe space for furries. And Frank, I hope this helps you, and I hope it helps your friend uh, celebrate being a furry all year round. I cannot thank you both enough for your help. This has been amazing. Merry Christmas. A um, very Merry Christmas to you, and a very Merry Christmas to your friends. Uh, we hope you have the best evening. Thanks for calling in. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, bye. Ooh. Unbelievable call. That was the best. That was so amazing. And by the way, that like have it, I would love to have a billionaire furry friend. <laughs> to have a millionaire friend furry in my life who's spoiling me raw. <laughs> spoiling me. Spoil me raw. The furry, the furry and his wife. The, a tale of uh, of money, of friendship. I mean, that's an incredible yeah. story. Wow. Wow. I think. Well, by the way, she has to send the picture. She's yeah. by the way, she's not going to do any of that. But <laughs> I think she's going to draw it. No, like, she's not going to draw. She's it. She's going to send it, and I'll post it. <laughs> you think she's yes? We didn't ask if she can draw. By the way. She said she could draw. Oh, she, she said did? She, yeah. She called it. She said I'm going to draw it. But d- that didn't. She didn't say she can draw. Well, yeah, maybe it's going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she should hire an artist. We asked her. I would like to see we fan asked art. Her to draw his wife. Here's what I'd say. I would like to see fan art from the perfect person community. Yes. I've requested this before. Yes. Of of this wife riding her husband's fursona with the Rudolph in the corner and Santa's being crossed arms. Cross arms and he's jealous. Oh my God. Ugh. Holy Rudolph. Sh- Rudolph? Oh my God. What a la- what a magical world we live in. That was incredible. That was ama- amazing. Yeah. We'd like to welcome back our old friends from Diet Smoke because you probably know Diet Smoke is the premier source for THC products and you'd be correct. What you might not know what I'm here to tell you is Diet Smoke just released mushroom gummies and they're the perfect intro to shrooms, her. I'm a big believer in psilocybin. I think it can unlock really wonderful things, especially with a micro dose, taking a tiny little dose like this. It's really not going to change your experience dramatically, but I find that even in a small way, it can help you have a burst of creative inspiration or maybe an emotional release. I find that they're very helpful for various different types of things. And if you've ever been curious about them, I think this is definitely the way to try microdosing mushroom gummies. With such a wide range of strengths and doses, Diet Smoke promises you'll find the gummy drink or smokable for you. Whether you want something strong to unwind, a boost of energy to keep you going, or a lighter option for a mellow high, Diet Smoke is for you. They understand everyone is different, which is why they're dedicated to helping you find the right match. Their customer service team will be by your side, guiding you along the way. Join the Diet Smoke community and discover the buzz for you. Visit dietsmoke.com today and use code PERFECT for 50% off any item and enjoy your journey to bliss. Diet Smoke, your partner in finding the perfect THC and mushroom products. Um, well, Eric, I think we have time for one more call. I hope so. I, I certainly do too. So my too. naming bit goes through. Miles, I've never had a New Year's kiss. I am 23 years old. I've been in multiple relationships. However, I've never been physically with my significant other on New Year's Eve and right now I'm single and I really want to finesse a New Year's kiss because I feel like it's simply the time. Please call me back and maybe we can work this out within the next two weeks. Bye-bye. She needs to get a kiss on uh, uh, Christmas. Uh, it's Kissmas, uh, everybody. Yeah! Kissmas is all about what's going getting on. Kissed. Getting kissed. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey, what's up? You called perfect uh, person, uh, and I'm here to call you back. Obviously, you know that it's oh Christmas. 
You know that it's Kissmas. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> what's up? And we're here to get you kissed by New Year's, sister. Yes, I hope you get kissed. It's Santa. Oh, my gosh. It's Hannah? It's Santa. Hannah? Oh, my God. It's Santa. <laughs> That's exactly right. And I'm here with my little elf, Eric Striffler. <laughs> Uh, and we're, oh my gosh, hi Eric Stripler We're going to need to give you a fake name And it's got to be Mur Fred. <laughs> okay, it's got to be Mur It's got to be Mur That name hit Miles like okay. a sack of bricks It did hit me like a sack of bricks Frank was a short, was a nickname by the way Okay, there we go, I got it Now, okay, so Mur, why don't you tell me about your experience And what your goals are for New York Because Eric and I are basically experts in kissing and we've done it. Not each other. Not each other. We've, That'd be okay, though. Have we ever kissed each other? No, I don't think so. Maybe once or twice. I don't think I've ever tasted your whiskers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tasted your whiskers is so funny. I don't think so. Um, but uh, but anyway, we're experts in kissing, and we're going to get it done. So uh, why don't you tell us about your experience and what you're looking for? Oh, my gosh. Well, I knew you were experts in kissing, which is exactly why I called you with my problem. Incredible. I have had partners in the past multiple times on new year's eve and we have not physically been together right. on new year's eve I right. see, okay. i've had a girlfriend in high school for a pretty long time and it was high school though yeah. so a lot of times she would be like with her family and that was not something that we could really like intervene with boring yeah. and then in college i know literally it was like girl ditch your mom what <laughs> i'm better than your mom what are you That's gonna right. kiss your mom so, yeah. please <laughs> So then in college, it was sort of a similar thing, not as like long term, but just I would be home over winter break. And then I was the boring one being with my mommy. And that was lame. What are you going to kiss your mom? I know. I know. I know. But now I'm a big girl. I'm 23. Mm -hmm. I just moved to a new city all by myself. Ooh. And it is my first. New Year's Eve where like I'm just gonna be hanging out with friends and I need to finesse the situation so that I'm guaranteed a kiss. Well guess what? I'm gonna give you <laughs> Santa's perfect guide to kissing on New Year's. <laughs> oh my oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I <laughs> always kiss someone on New Year's. Who is it? Mrs. Claus, I hope. I hope sometimes. I hope it's Mrs. Claus. Sometimes it's Wait, did you guys know that Santa was like rebranded to include Mrs. Claus in like the sixties because he was like his bachelor vibe was freaking people out? Oh, that's so funny. You're I didn't know that. You're fucking kidding me. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Wait, so Mrs. Claus, no, is, Mrs. Claus is only like 60 years old canonically. Like, and he's it, like, a thousand years old. He's a million <laughs> years old and she just showed up. This yeah. is literally Edward and Bella. Feel old yet? That's right. Edward and Bella are Santa and his wife. <laughs> and Mrs. Claus. How dare you? <laughs> right. She has well, a name. You know what also says? the name. It's Mrs. Claus. Well, you don't want a single man <laughs> entering your house in the middle of Wait, the night. I think I've wondered this before. What is <laughs> What is Mrs. Claus's first name? Oh. Is it Santa? Uh, <laughs> That's Santa. <laughs> but it's like a Mario and Luigi Sandra. thing. Sandra. So you think... But Okay, but Mar <laughs> Mario and Luigi are... There, it's their first name. So Can you we, think it's Santa Claus and Santa Claus? Hang on, let me Google this. Hold let me on. let me Google this. Let's. Mur, hold on one stand, second. Stand by, Mur. And I think I think I I'm pretty sure I've pondered this somewhere, and I don't think I I don't remember if I got an answer. What is Mrs. Claus' first name? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm I'm sensing Abigail. Miss Claus typically doesn't go by a first name. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> she couldn't. Holly. <laughs> Did you just say Holly? Holly makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, Holly Claus. That's really good. She was created. Yeah, let's brand that. We could create that. Wait, she, she was created. She was. She was by the, Santa. She was created in a lab in the creation of James <laughs> Reese in his book Mysteries of City Life, which explored a variety of traditions. Reese is the first to name Mrs. Claus as well, giving her the monitor Ger Gertrude in his stories. Although pop culture has given her the name Jessica. <laughs> hold on. All right. So first of all, hold on. The guy who created Mrs. Claus. Wanted to just make her an old fogey. Yeah, so she could be Jess Claus. <laughs> no, but she, what was it? Gertrude, did you say? Gertrude or Jessica. Well, Jessica feels like she could be feeling herself a little bit more than Gertrude, yeah, quite hey, frankly. Gertrudes can get down. Trust me. <gasps> All right. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So here's what I'm going to ask you, Mur. Is there anybody in the friend group that you're going to be hanging out with that you're thinking about kissing? That's a good first question. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I do. So, um, 
I've, I've like pictured the scenario so many times. I never knew how specific I would be, but I work raising money for a hospital. That's cool. And so my sort of like circle is a lot of people who have different positions throughout the hospital. Some of my best friends are NICU nurses. Oh, wow. And there's one sexy clinician, which Woo! I feel like is huge. <laughs> that, a sexy clinician is very sexy, by the way. Top Halloween costume 2024. Uh, oh. sexy, se- I'm going as the sexy clinician for Halloween. <laughs> Sexy phlebologist. <laughs> sexy phlebotomist. Okay, so got it. So there's a sexy clinician, and is this person going to be joining you and your friends as you hang out on New Year's? I don't know. So he and I don't know each other like super duper well, but um I'm trying to maybe, you know, finagle the situation so that he does because I think that that would be awesome. But I don't know how to do it without being obvious and just being like, hey, you should hang out so we can kiss. Because that is like a lot, obviously. Well, how close are you to this person? Like emotionally? Oh my gosh. Whoa. I mean, yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, a murder, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, or like just. I like, didn't know if you meant like within my institution. <laughs> like, how much do you talk to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a regular basis? Fairly frequently. Okay. And I feel like it wouldn't be that weird to just invite him, but I just am nervous about being overly obvious because I fear that sometimes I am not good at concealing my intentions. <laughs> I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you. I think that that is a gift and not a curse. I agree. I think that is absolutely a <laughs> gift in this life. I think that that's actually better if people know, you know, I mean like to a point, like, you know, you want to play coy, right? By the way, that's the fun part. Going and Agreed. wondering if it's going to happen is way more fun. Yeah. Than, than knowing it's going to happen. Agreed. hundred percent. But also like <laughs> having a good idea is great. Hey, here's how this would go. Hey, uh, me and my friends yeah. are going to... Sorry, <laughs> sorry that's wait. his voice. Who's, who are you? Sorry, I was, I was going to be the <laughs> caller. You're Mer- you're Mer- okay. And you're going to be the guy, the hey, cool phlebotomist hey, or whatever. What's up? Hey, um, so me and my friends are hanging out for New Year's. You should totally come hang with us. We're going uh, to a bar and we're going to be doing whatever. I don't do New Year's. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> sorry, I don't, bye. I don't believe in New Year's. That's totally weird. Bye-bye. <laughs> And that's how it could go, but even better. But it could go like this. Hey, we and my friends are hanging out for New Year's. You should totally come by the bar. Uh, I'd love to kiss you. Oh, that's good. Well, well, who knows if that'll happen? <laughs> I listen to Perfect Person and I know your voice. No way. Yeah. I've been made. <laughs> or it could go like this. Okay. <laughs> hey, we and my friends. <laughs> hey, me, me and my friends are hanging out for New Year's. You they're losing go- blood. No. Help, they're losing blood. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm Hurry. bleeding out. So, like, those are the couple <laughs> options that it could end with, and I just think that this is going to yeah. go—it's going to go better for you if you just invite him to come to the thing, especially if it's organic in conversation. Yo, you, wait, 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 did you say it's at? Did you, did you make up that it's at a bar? Or did did Mur say it's at a bar? Wait, what are you doing? Where, yeah, what is this? It's not at a bar. Okay. Um, Even better. It's at an apartment. Yeah, that is. it's an apartment situation. And the other thing that is like a little nerve wracking about the ask is that the apartment and the group who the apartment is going to be hosting it's mostly like my kind of girly book club friends um and so i'm a little like is that the vibe to be inviting can we have a, a name for him he is named no wait wait uh we Ke- kevin uh, why is kevin sure <laughs> it's gotta be kevin okay so kevin <laughs> kevin kevin yeah. i think <laughs> I, read, I, read it. I only needed three so i'm i fucked it i think that you gotta invite <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. But well, okay. I, have, I have two thoughts here. I think you should also, you could also prep your um, librarian sort of. Uh, door- <laughs> she did not say librarian. <laughs> she did not say librarian. All your librarian <laughs> friends. And actually, I'm I'm a book club ally and Miles is not. No way. I'm an ally. She said book club, not librarian. That's a, Librarian is the slur uh-huh. for book club gals. That's right. I think you should ask your gals group, hey, uh, there's this guy that I kind of want to invite, would that be cool? Wait a minute. When you said your that your kind of concern was with the because of the crowd, is he what 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 end is the concern on? The guy's end or the gal's end? Mm. You know what I mean? Like what what part are you concerned about here that they wouldn't want him to go or the other way around? That he might be like, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, that's more the concern. They all have like partners and stuff, okay. so it's not like it's literally going to be a group of women, but I just if he kind of rolls in and it's like expecting a, a lit, crazy party, and then we're just kind of like hanging out and eating like spinach dip 
I don't know if that's really going to be. Still, there's still time to liven up the party. There's still time to invite all of the people who work in the morgue. Because <laughs> you, know you know they get down. Or Because I was going to say, it's a shame. It's a shame that they're all partnered up. You could tell this guy... If you have any single friends, we're, we're trying to, everyone at the party's trying to kiss somebody. Oh, that is really fun. But, but, I know that seems nerve wracking to you, Mur. But, that fr like, do you have any single <laughs> friends? You know what I mean? Like, that would be great if you could say, no, I'm saying if, like, if you could say that to him. Yeah. If there was anybody that was going to be at the party that is single, if you could say to him, like, hey, you know, um, you're cool, like, whatever, I'd love yeah. for you to be there. And also, if you have any single friends, like, I know everybody's trying to, you know, everybody always wants to have a New Year's kiss, you know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. That's Maybe it is. true, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is, though. <laughs> I'm inviting him to this party as if it's, like, a TV show pitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, I like that. I think that also, like, mm -hmm. you could also ask him what his plans are, and if he has something, he might invite you. True. Fuck you know, the book like, club. And you could be, like, doing both. You could be going to the spinach club, and then... <laughs> <laughs> you you really have a problem with book clubs. I don't. Wow. She mentioned wow. that there's going to be several people sitting around reading, eating spinach dip. And by the way, it's by not the a way, book club meeting, Miles. It's just going to be my friend from book club. Okay. And by the way, Murr, I'm laying it on thick because I'm trying to redeem myself after giving furries a problem before. <laughs> Eric, Eric is worried he was canceled oh. by the furry community on the last call. And he's making sure he's on the book. The book club allies have got his back. Uh, yeah, that, that's good for you. I'm not a furry, so you're not really getting any points back with the furries. But right. I am going to and say that you're a book club advocate. There's Thank always you. next year to get more points back with the furries. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that you got to ask this guy what's his vibe. And I think that also inviting him to this thing and being like, like even maybe even bringing up being like, oh, you're doing for New Year's. You know what's weird is like, I've never had a New Year's kiss. No, you can't. It's too much. <laughs> it's too it's much. Too much. <laughs> okay, it is maybe too much. I think, yeah, I think Miles was on the right track before. When he didn't really finish his thought about huh? that, he should, <laughs> Miles is trashed. By the way, no Miles way! Um, well, come on. No, he when you, when you were saying like, yeah, ask him what he's doing. Yeah, ask him what he's doing. I will definitely ask him what he's doing and hope that that goes well for me. He's like pretty. I don't know. He's a little flirty. He's a little flirty. He's a little flirty. Yeah, wait, do, he's wait, a little do, bit flirty. Do, do you guys flirt? Yeah, we flirt. Oh, you're going to kiss. Oh, you're going to totally oh, gonna kiss. kiss. The stakes for this are low. <laughs> the stakes are low, but it's the okay. best. This is the greatest. This is the best. This is going to be the best New Year's of your life. And I, and I got to be honest. I, why are you laughing? God. I it's agree. True. I also think, why wait till new? Start laying the groundwork, <laughs> man. Start laying the groundwork now. Like, start being yeah. like, hey, by the way, like, Mm, you know, we <laughs> let's kiss. Why, why do we have to wait? Why wait till New Year's? And, the ball's and, and dropping right the way, now. And then just pucker your lips. By the way, looks like the ball's <laughs> dropping right now. Don't say the balls are dropping. The balls are dropping right now. <laughs> Don't say your balls are dropping. <laughs> I think. Uh, but I would li I would start flirting with this guy now because if a meteor hits the planet before 2024, then you won't have gotten to kiss this guy at New Year's. True. That's super true. If he has plans, <laughs> you say, oh, that's a shame because I won't have anybody at midnight. <sighs> I think that's such a good idea. That is the hottest, perfect yeah. thing. Oh, that's a bummer because I don't have anyone to kiss at midnight. Not even, you don't have to say kiss. It's implied. I won't have anyone at midnight. I'll be standing there alone on, at midnight. That's it. You Woo! don't have to say, don't, have, don't say kiss. Eric, that puckered me up. That is such a good that idea. Good. <laughs> because, because. That's a movie. That's yeah. Yeah, that's a movie right there. As much as you're trying to have your kiss at, at, uh, at midnight on New Year's Eve, it also sounds like you'd be happy to kiss this guy anytime. So yeah. you're setting it up in general, which yeah. is good. If it doesn't happen on New Year's, it's going to happen January too. And I got to tell you, he has plans. After you say that, he might not. He very well might be coming to your party. Hey, sorry. I think I want to come to Spinach Club. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been really craving spinach. I've been craving spinach dip. You mentioned that there was going to be some at the book And you club. guys you guys eat it off of like dog-eared book pages or what? <laughs> it sounds like Eric and I are aliens trying to understand what book club means. Santa, you're losing your lights. Sorry, huh? You're losing no, your lights. No, I hosted book yours. club on a Wednesday night and we had just like 15 different types of cookies. That was that night. Oh, that's no awesome. spinach dip. That sounds fantastic, honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Very nice. Well, now if you run into trouble, just remember WWSCD. What would Santa Claus do? 
Also, what would um, Gertrude Claus do? WWGCD. <laughs> what would Jessica Claus do? But it's still WWJCD. It's the Jesus Christ one, but it's Jessica Claus. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, it's WWJD, but yeah, you're right. What would Jessica do? Love that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Wow. Well, Jessica, thanks for calling in. No, it's Murr. Sorry, Murr. Thanks for calling in. Um, we Thank you so much. Murr, can I tell you, I am so excited for you. You are literally going to get kissed and you have the best New Year's Eve ever. I'm so <laughs> excited for you. Wow. How are you feeling before oh we let you go? God. I'm feeling great. I'm like so thrilled. This is my favorite podcast in the world. Oh. I've called you a bunch of times about my, like, de my great aunt who was a nun who died and we discovered a weird secret at her funeral. Whoa. But this was like arguably a much more pragmatic call for you to return because I actually like needed concrete advice instead of just like kind of speculative advice. Oh That's my gosh. Sounds like you should call in again. It sounds though. like <laughs> you need to call in again. At the very least, I'm going to need an update for the Platinum Show and maybe I can get that sweet, sweet secret on the Platinum Show as well after I find out what happened. There Harris. it is. There it is. Yes, please, Miles. You call me back and time of day i'll be picking up oh Don't worry. that's wow. very sweet of you and thank you so much for listening to the show that means a lot and i appreciate it uh have the most amazing night and it's gonna be a ho 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 Horny new, new, new year bye <laughs> bye thank you <laughs> yo uh, some of the best fucking calls that great, was amazing great calls she's getting kissed 100,000% she's getting kissed. Are you playing the sound effects? <laughs> well, it's a segment we like to call Get Damn Real. <laughs> it's a segment where we, uh, pass, we cast aside the bullshit. And we forced a genuine moment in an effort to learn more about each other and ourselves. And I'm here, obviously, with Eric Striffler. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Is it always I this loud? Yeah. I honestly forget. We've only been on, what, fucking four times? Well, Eric, um, it's obviously the holiday season. Yep. The giving season. You're sort of a renegade mogul uh, doing your own thing on the road, 365. Sure. Uh, and I also, I have a newfound appreciation for what you do because I have recently become an independent guy who works for myself, has my own business, et cetera. And right. I did a little bit of that before, but now I'm like doing it full time, a little bit more, more aligned to sim like more similar to what you do sure. and have been doing for the last long time. Uh, but as you near towards the end of the year and you get towards 2024 and you're thinking about the passage of time, et cetera, what is something that, uh, you might want to change about the way that you do things in the new year. You're sort of also a <laughs> steadfast guy who doesn't necessarily change your pattern of behavior because you're you're like, I know what I want and I do what I want and I do it this way. Is there anything about your uh, patterns and your routines, something that you're excited about moving towards in the new year? You know, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's funny when you... <clears throat> you put it like that like yeah that I'm I, I know what I'm doing and I want to keep doing yeah. it what I what I want to do and keep doing is something new all the time yes so it, it is interesting though it's like on one hand I'm doing the same thing all the time yeah but the same thing is doing something new like traveling around doing something new so I want to keep doing that obviously I want to um I, I might have talked about it before I want to slow the fuck down totally dude. I want to I I feel like I see you I'm here in town. Yeah. I'm only seeing you for work. Yeah, yeah, I know. I what would love that to, I would about? love for us to fucking hang out more without a work. Are you coming out Saturday? Yeah, of course. All right, so then I'll see you Saturday. Oh, fucking okay, perfect. Okay, thank God. No, I to but I've actually felt that way similarly. There are some friends yeah. where I'm and I've been doing much better with that. Yeah. Um, for example, like I hung out with the showman and we watched movies. Yeah. That's and just I'm psyched out. to come to New York because we're doing a little bit of work, but then also when is this coming out. Uh next week. I don't know what we're doing exactly yet. I didn't tell you there's a there's a hiccup. <laughs> we'll talk after this. But I'm still going to New York. But you're going to New York, baby. Oh, and but we're gonna hang out. Oh, we got a bar crawl. Yeah, exactly. But I'm really excited for that because um, 
because yes, uh, yeah, no, I feel similarly. Doing We're like, stuff outside of work. No, we see each other. You, are there some record. people in your life that you'd like to see more often? Outside, but you only see them when you're like working. I even feel like that be, happens. Even some of my best friends, like John and I. Um, I mean, I see John all the time, but like the two times we spent the most time together recently, where we shot videos. Yeah, and it was really fun. And it's that, fun. Yeah, it's my it best, is fun. It's my fucking like best do. friend. It's so good to do. But in terms of slowing stuff down, I totally I, I wanna, relate to that. I want to like if I'm driving across. The, so I'm talking about like driving. Across yeah. the country, staying in a place for a little longer. Yeah, like, I feel like pre... I don't know why COVID changed this yeah. for me. It doesn't really make sense. I don't know what it is. But, like, pre-COVID, I... So I've been living, li, you know, living... I should say living out of a van. You know, I always make make it clear, like, I don't I don't rough it. I don't You're doing stay great. in the van <laughs> yeah, at right. all times. Like, it's more that I like to travel around than yeah. stay inside the van 24-7. Living out of a van for seven years. Before COVID, I would, like have time to just like stop in a place and just like kind of like act like I live there for yeah. a few days right and I feel like I've just been going from A to B like I got to get from New York to LA because I got to record I got to right. record in LA and then I got to get back to New York I'm doing it now I, I have to race back to New York to meet you there yeah to record and um yeah I'd like to I, I don't know I don't know if that means like maybe doing a little bit better bulking up recordings yeah so I have a few months of leeway um but yeah, it's it's been very, and I love moving fast and, and running around and everything, you know me, but I get <laughs> hit every time. Um, but I, I would like to have, instead of one week to yeah. drive from New York to LA, I'd like to have two or yeah. three. Right. See what totally. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I totally relate to that. And um, I'm in the position too where like, I'm so proud of all the stuff that I'm doing, but I'm looking at the new year. Hey, by the way, I'm proud of it. Thank I'm you. loving seeing all the stuff you're doing. Thank you, dude. What did I walk in here wearing? Oh yeah, you. <laughs> you I'm wore. Oh yeah, it. you came in. He came in wearing my. Uh, oh, thank you. He came in wearing the uh, the Casual Friday the merch, yeah. and I, I was very. It was, thank you for getting that. By the way, it's very sweet of you. I always, but, as soon as it drops, I buy it. I love it. I'm so excited. That's very sweet of yes, you. But I, I'm. I like. I have so many plans and stuff that I want to do. But the thing I've been recently feeling like is like, man, like. I want to, one big thing I'm trying to do more is like, all right, I went to school for acting. I, right. I originally did all this shit, learn how to fucking do all of it so that I could perform and do like acting. And I don't do any of that. Yeah. And I was kind of like, you know what? I want to try to slow down a little bit and put a little bit more effort into that part of it, whether that's auditioning or whether that's making stuff or whether it's making short films or I just was like, I would love to slow down and do something like that. But I'm on this sort of grind where I'm like, I do the podcast and I got to make YouTube videos because... I want to. I have the opportunity to. But also, I'm like, how nice would it be to just work on one project over several months? Right. And like pr make something and then be like, all right, great. I have a little bit of time to slow down. Uh, so I totally relate to that. Yeah. And I think that, yeah, I'm sort of like shot out of a cannon feeling like I should be making way more. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I am in control of my own life now. I work for myself. Yeah. I don't have to do that. Maybe it would be like smarter, but it's like I'm not enjoying the life that I'm cultivating. Right. If I'm doing right. that. Yeah. I think uh, one thing I'll add is that I, and I think we've talked about it a little bit. Uh, you you might not feel like you're in this place yet, but I mean, I've, I've been doing this for a long ass time. Yeah. What, what I'm doing, what, yeah, you, yeah. You, know, what you originally were, were talking about. And um, my business partner and I, uh, you know, uh, AJ, uh, yeah. by the way, I, yeah. everyone should have an AJ if you're, if you, yeah. you need he's to get best. an AJ. I do, I, I do. Like, I need, yeah, I need an you're AJ. Doing, you're juggling everything. You're doing too much. He's the greatest. He's the best. He's like the business end of things so I can do the fun <clears> stuff kind <throat> of, yeah. you know, and he loves doing that. And, um, but what we talk about sometimes is like, hey man, like right now what we're doing, we, you know, listen, always nice to, you know, have more success, more, you know, it's always nice to grow yeah. and expand and do better. And for internet stuff, you know, get more views, whatever, blah, blah. But also I, I, I tell him all the time and, and I don't, I'm not, you know, I, when I tell him all the time, he agrees, he gets yeah. it. If we could coast exactly where we are for the rest of our lives, incredible. we're solid. We made that, it. We're good. We're done. I feel the same way. You don't need more. We're good. And, and I'm like, I have all these things I want to, I think it's also, it's more that I have things I want to try. Sure. I'm like, I, I want to try to make a go of like making my YouTube channel big because I've never yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been working. I've been busy. And I'm like, I want to try to do that. I want to try to, you know, make short films and like try to audition and get in sure. stuff. And I, it's not that I need that stuff to be successful. I'm just like, I feel like the new year, I want it to be me trying new things I haven't done before. Sure. And I don't need all of them to be successful, but I'm like, Ass I'm similar to you. What, it, what do you mean? Trying new things, you said, right? But I've tried ass. Great. 
I mean, I'm with you. Thanks for doing the show, man. I really do appreciate it. And um, I have a plug. You have a plug. I actually have a plug. Yeah, what are you promoting? Life and Slimes. Huh? I'm co-producing an off-Broadway show, bitch. Oh, hell yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Hell yeah. what's, what's the show? It's called The Life and Slimes of Mark Summers. Uh, and when I say I, I mean my company, Existence Media. We're, we're co-producing. Yeah. Uh, it's an off-Broadway show. You know who Mark Summers is? Yeah. Host of Double Dare. Yeah, that's right. Uh, obviously on the Food Network as well. I know him and I love him from Double Dare from as a 90s Nickelodeon kid. Yeah. Um, we've been working on this since 2017 or so. Oh, yeah, like, it's finally happening. But, and, and, yeah, it's been on and off. It's been crazy. Um, music by Drew Gasparini, written by Alex Brightman. Oh, my God. Uh, it's going to be a fucking blast. Dude, that's if, so cool. If you love any of what I just said, especially if you're a 90s Nickelodeon kid, it's it's the story of Mark Summers. Um, I don't want to kind of spoil what it's all about. It's yeah. very a very interesting story. You might know his story already, um, but yeah, it's it's like part one man show, part like kind of game show a little bit. It's awesome. Oh, Lifeandslimes.com. So... Tickets are on sale now. It opens in February. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know Alex Brightman wrote it. That's... Yeah, he wrote it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I love Alex Brightman. He wrote it. Um, I just saw, uh, it, before it closed, I caught, um, I mean, obviously I saw Beetlejuice. I missed yeah. School of Rock, but I caught uh, The Shark is Broken. Awesome. Oh, it's awesome? Amazing. He yeah, I disappeared. Saw I didn't even see him. He was Richard Dreyfuss. I mean, I saw him as Beetlejuice. He was fucking incredible. Did you get to see it? Did you see New York? Yeah, I saw him. He was so, amazing. It was oh, unbelievable. God damn it. Um, well, yeah, so anyway, so lifeandslimes.com. I don't often have something to plug, really, but yeah. I wanted to remember I have that. I do have that, and uh, and it's going to be fun. Check out lifeandslimes.com, and uh, if you're interested in the more episodes of this and you want them more than once a week, then go to Patreon, and we've got them. Also, there's merch. If you want to buy some merch for your friends for the holidays, uh, then hit it. And I think as this episode comes out, it should still ship before Christmas. Uh, but, uh, certain items anyway. And uh, thank you for all for listening to the show. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thanks for making this Happy a part holidays. of your routine. And as always, if you're struggling, just remember that perfection <laughs> is only a sleigh away. <laughs> It's the end of the show. The show's over. No, you gotta go. That was a headgum podcast.